going to make a really easy soup stew called chicken with dumplings. This is very easy, very flexible to make it to the best taste that you would like. I'm going to turn on the Instapot, or you could make this on the stove. We're going to add two chicken breasts that have been chopped into bite-sized pieces. Okay, to that we're going to add about a cup and a half of diced new potatoes, about a cup of frozen peas, so chopped medium onion, two ribs of celery diced, three carrots chopped. You could just use regular water or chicken broth, but this is four cups chicken broth and one cup of water is what I'm doing. This is two teaspoons salt, one teaspoon dried basil, half a teaspoon thyme, and half a teaspoon pepper. Okay, you're just going to stir that around. And we're going to come back and stir it throughout the process, but now we're just going to cover it. Don't put the lid all the way on. At least with mine, it makes this little red thing come up. We're going to let it simmer until the vegetables are soft. Really, you're looking for the potatoes and the carrots to be soft. The rest will be soft before then. And while that is cooking, we are going to make the dumpling part. Now, I like a lot of dumplings, so I've doubled this. You're either going to need a knife and a fork or a pastry blender. Okay, so we are going to add in three cups flour, one teaspoon salt, four teaspoons baking powder, and six tablespoons of butter. Now, what we're going to do is chop this, slice this butter into pea-sized crumbly bits. So. Just take it like this and just keep cutting and mixing it. Is a great thing to do while everything cooks is to put things away. Put things directly in the sink as you're cooking, and then when you have a minute, just start loading them into the dishwasher, or washing a few by hand. So to this, we are going to add a cup and a half of milk. and about a half a cup of chopped parsley. For this, you can use any kind of spoon, but I'm going to use this spatula. And just keep stirring it and turning it over until all the dry parts have mixed in. And you have a uniform look to it. So just kind of scrape along the bottom and turn it over, scrape along the sides and turn it over. You can always use your hand if you feel like your spatula isn't working very well. So, I'm going to check on it, give it one last stir, and you've stirred it throughout the process. Test that the vegetables are tender by inserting a fork, and if it slides in fairly easy, a slight resistance, not much though, it's good. And we're going to do a taste test, make sure that it's salty enough. Yeah, that's good, but we would want to add more salt and pepper now if you want to. We're just going to drop this dough into the pot. So just spoonful by spoonful. And these expand, so I put them in separated. 
in the end, mine are going to be very close because I like extra biscuits. And then as it gets fuller and fuller, they'll start to touch, but hopefully the other ones have started to, to already cook and it still stays separate. You can always kind of cut them apart as you're dishing them up. This is such a good comfort food on a cold night. This is perfect. It's really good. So even in the summer, this is good. It's so easy too. So these are just going to cook from the water and the steam. I'm going to cook them just for a minute while the lid is open. I'm going to move over some of these. Okay, we're going to let it cook for about five minutes like this. Then we're going to put the lid on and it will cook for about 10 minutes. Okay, now we're going to put the lid back on for about 8 to 10 minutes. Let's open it and take a look. It should be all puffy. And turn that off. And I'm just going to peek down in here. Yeah, it looks completely done. See how this first one goes. Sometimes it's the hardest to get out. I'm just going to ladle down to the bottom. Get some of the stew and then on top of it I'm going to put the dumplings. Make sure you get a lot of good juices to soak up with the dumplings. And here is our chicken and dumplings. Mm -hmm. 